Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the buckler um, and we're going to be exploring the question of why use this uh, over other things, okay? Well, um, if we look at a shield for a second, the, the shield offers much better defense, right? But the problem with this is that, you know, this is a lot bigger, it's a lot uh, less comfortable to carry around. So if I'm going into battle, yeah, I definitely want a large shield like this. Uh, but if I'm not expecting to have a fight, if I'm just going to, you know, be walking around town, uh, this is big, awkward, and clumsy, okay? So I need something smaller. So then, let's say I'm, I'm using something like this. This is smaller, lighter, but it's still big enough that I can't really just hang this on my belt and go about my business this is going to be in my way no matter where i put this on my body this is kind of this is going to kind of be in my way a little bit so if i go if i go back to the buckler right this is an 11 inch buckler this is small enough that i can hang this on my belt okay hang my sword there hang this uh, and this is kind of out of my way okay? and i can do other things okay so this is really a convenience thing so the thing i really wanted to consider in this video is why not a dagger right because the dagger seems to do a lot of the things that this does uh just as well if not better okay so uh let me, let me grab a sword so for those of you watching this who might be less uh familiar with sword and buckler um you know basically when the buckler is extended it offers more defense so as you can see how i'm holding it out you see how you see less of my body as i bring it in you see more of my body so by extending it i'm getting uh what we call a cone of defense and with something this small as i attack i basically want to extend uh and i'm covering my sword arm as i'm as i am attacking okay uh so that's how this is typically used so the question becomes, why not use a dagger? Let's look at a dagger for a second. So a dagger, right, like this, um, which seems to be very capable of, of providing a similar protection, okay? So if I'm attacking, you know, I can use the dagger to cover my arm, right? I can just hold, you know, I can just basically hold the dagger back just, just enough so it's, it's covering my hand far enough back that you know this hand can't be hit so i can use this in a similar way um i can also uh use this more offensively now you can say hey you could take a buckler and hit somebody in the head with it and it's gonna it's gonna do damage but yeah uh with a dagger i can hit him anywhere you know i can stab him anywhere in the body so with the buckler i pretty much am limited to hitting them either in the head or on their fingers or maybe their elbow um, you know, if, you know, if I hit him in the chest with the buckler, that's really not going to do much to them. Whereas with this, I can stab him. Um, so, so this would seem to have, uh, a much more offensive capability. Now, usually when I'm using a shield, uh, a, a sword like this, um, I'm usually doing it with a buckler, but a lot of times when I'm fencing and I'm using a rapier, what I do is I, I, I use it with a dagger. So, as you can see, this is a much thinner sword. This is a style that I fight quite often. Again, I'm holding it like this. As I'm extending, I'm using this as a windshield wiper. This is offering some defense. It's allowing me to grab the other person's blade. Okay, um, The rapier that I use um, is, is basically a very simple style. It doesn't have uh, much hand protection. Um, the benefit of it, it's lighter. It's a little bit faster. Um, but because I don't have hand protection on my rapier, I rely more on the, you know, on the um, dagger for my hand protection, okay? And most of the time, if I'm fighting rapier, I prefer to use a dagger. Um, so, question becomes, in what instance would I want to use a buckler? Um, you know, why, why would I fight, normally if I'm fighting rapier against rapier, I normally prefer the, 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 uh, the dagger as opposed to this, right? Although I can use this, you know, I, again, I, I don't feel that I have as much offensive capability. Uh, I may have a little better hand protection. Uh, but there's an instance that I can think of where I would definitely want to use this with this, okay? 
So the important thing to understand is that um, when we, you know, historically, weapons were not matched, okay? Um, and especially when we look at some of the uh, uh, civil wars that happened, um, you know, throughout the, throughout the Renaissance, like in Florence, we had some situations where, you know, townspeople were fi fighting, you know, let's say like town's guard. So it's very possible uh, to be opposing somebody that has a much uh, heavier weapon. Now, I'll give you an example. This is an example of a poleaxe that a, that a guardsman might have, okay? And with a heavier weapon like this, okay, you know, I would prefer not to block that kind of a weapon with a dagger. I would prefer something a lot more stout, uh, and that's where I think the buckler really comes in. So I think that the reason why the buckler was so popular is because people, um, you know, even if it didn't happen as often, but they they were aware of the possibility that they may end up in a situation where they are fighting against much heavier weapons, and they wanted uh, they wanted something capable of stopping, you know, let's say a polearm. Uh, now you can say, hey, you you know, you practice all the time, you fight, you're able to defend yourself, you know, against a, a polearm with a dagger. Or whatever, or just a plain sword. Um, but you know, I think that that this just gives you a lot more strength, uh, just because you're able to grip it more firmly, push into it. So I, I, that is the reason why I think that the buckler was so popular, um, you know, as opposed to let's say um, a dagger. Okay, because again, the dagger I think offers more offensive capability. You can stab somebody. You know, there's a lot more places that you can hit somebody with the dagger and hurt them. Versus with the buckler. With the buckler, you're just kind of limited to the head, the fingers, you know, maybe a joint like the elbow or something, perhaps a collarbone. Um, but with the dagger, you can you can pretty much stab him any place on the body. But because of the historical possibility that you might match up against somebody with a pole arm, right? Um, you you know that's where I th that's why I think you would want to carry a buckler. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.